Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan, and you're watching the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. Today I want to talk to you about fiberglass nose cones and how to install a uh, loop so you can attach your parachute and so you can attach it to your rocket. Now the thing about fiberglass nose cones is that the wall thickness is not uniform on the inside because of the fiberglass, the way it's laid up. Um, and so sticking a bulkhead disc in there takes some work because you have to sand it down in specific areas to make it slide in nice because it's not a uniform circle. Um, fiberglass nose cones are really strong and um, you're going to like them. Um, but the, the question is how do you attach the parachute or attach the nose cone to the rocket? And I want to show you a little trick. Um, and for this I use um, Kevlar cord and a little glob of fixed epoxy, which is down in here. Now the fixed epoxy is is uh, mixed up. It's an equal part of A and the B. Um, when you push, uh, smoosh them together, you just kind of work it at it until you get a uniform color. And I like to do it about you know three three to five minutes to make sure it's all mixed pretty good. And then when you're done, it'll be like this. Um, and so the, the technique is pretty easy. Um, I took a piece of uh, Kevlar cord here. This is 300 pound. For the bigger nose cones, you might want to use uh, the 1500 pound that we sell. And I'll just take it and put a little knot in the end like this. And then just take a little glob of the epoxy clay and just smash it down into the fibers like that over the knot. And then just stick it on the inside. And when you first, first mix it up, it is kind of tacky. Um, after about 20 minutes, it starts firming up a little bit and it'll start grabbing easier without sticking to your fingers. But basically, you'll just smush it down on, against the wall and then feather out the edges. Uh, make sure you got that knot covered up. Um, and then when it's dry, it's going to be rock hard. Now, the reason I like to use the fix it epoxy clay is um, it doesn't wick into the fibers of the Kevlar. Um, a lot of times if you use a liquid epoxy, it'll wick into those fibers and it'll make these very stiff. And once they're stiff, that means they're also brittle. With the fixed epoxy clay, it's still pretty loose um, and it doesn't uh, make the fibers brittle where it first comes out. Now, if you prefer to use a screw eye, you can do that too. Um, when you put that, you can do this basically the same way. You just smash your, your epoxy clay into the, uh, into the threads of the screw eye and then just smash it down, cover it up really good. Uh, when you do this, I'd use a little bit more, more epoxy than I got here um, because you want the, the further that you can spread it, the stronger it's going to be. Um, the only thing that you do need to worry about when using a screw eye like this or, or an eye bolt is that you make sure that it will slide into the tube. If you have it like this way, see now it's, it's over the edge of the tube and it's not going to slide in. So just make sure that you have it positioned so that it can slide into the tube like that. So my name again is Tim Van Milligan. You're watching the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. Uh, may the winds be light, may the skies be blue, and may all your rockets fly straight and true.